Hi everybody. Today's focus, I am testing the Tide antibacterial fabric spray to see how well it removes bacteria from some soft surfaces in my home. This video is a viewer request. Bell Siberian, J Barr, and UFO Crochet all suggested that I test the Tide antibacterial fabric spray. In order to test how well this Tide antibacterial fabric spray works, I'm going to take a petri dish just like this guy here and I'm going to label it A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and swab various areas around my home. I'll probably swab some soft surfaces like a couch and place that sample on the section labeled B for before. Then I'll use the Tide antibacterial spray, swab the areas again, and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. C is my control, nothing's going to go there. So let's see how we even use the Tide antibacterial fabric spray. So they do give you directions for use. Um, they give you directions if you want to use it on a fabric application or for a hard, non-porous surface. We are going to follow the directions for the fabric applications. They break it down even further to refresh fabrics, to sanitize soft surfaces, which is probably what we're going to test, uh, to kill odor-causing bacteria on soft surfaces, which to me is like the same as sanitizing, because when you sanitize something, you're removing the bacteria and also for mold mildew prevention. I'm not gonna test that because I don't have the means to test mold or mildew um, on, on my Petri dishes. So let's take a look here. Let's look at how to sanitize soft surfaces. It says to clean heavily soiled areas before application. From a distance of six to eight inches, spray a spot a two inch by two inch area evenly until damp to kill bacteria. Fabric must remain wet for five minutes. Okay, that's not bad at all. And to kill odor-causing bacteria on soft surfaces, it says to clean heavily soiled areas from a distance of six to eight inches, spray evenly until damp to kill bacteria. Fabric must remain wet for five minutes. So that's what we'll do. We'll spray until the area is damp, wait five minutes, and then see from there. I won't re-swab though until the area is completely dry. If the area dries out before the five minutes, I'll restart my test on a different area. So let's see how well the Tide antibacterial fabric spray removes bacteria from my home.
Now for some results. Let's look at the arm of the couch. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. That's actually a nice sampling of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a slight decrease in the amount of bacteria, but not a huge decrease. So in my opinion, the Tide antibacterial fabric spray does a okay to not so great job at removing bacteria from my couch arm, the seat on my couch. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria, but there's still a lot of bacteria on the seat of the couch. So the Tide antibacterial fabric spray does a, yeah, okay, a not so great job at removing bacteria from my couch. The throw rug by my French doors. In the before section, we can see some bacteria. There's not a huge sampling of bacteria there. I retested this actually three or four different times in different places on the throw rug on the floor. And each time I got the same result, which, which was not a ton of bacteria on the before side and the after section had no bacteria on it. So the Tide antibacterial fabric spray did a good job at removing the bacteria from my throw rug. The bathroom rug. In the before section, we can see some bacteria. Again, it's not a huge amount of bacteria. It's about two dozen small bacterial colonies. And in the after section, there is a decrease. It's down to about half a dozen of bacterial colonies. So the Tide antibacterial fabric spray does an okay job at removing the bacteria from my bathroom rug. My blue throw pillow. In the before section, again, there's just not a lot of bacteria growing on the pillow. I actually did this one twice. I did both sides of the pillow. Each time it came up with just a few tiny bacterial colonies in the before section. And in the after section, there was no bacterial colonies growing. So considering that there is such a tiny, small sample size in the before section, I don't really feel it's a good representation of how the um, spray works. So I'll say it does an okay job at removing the bacteria from my blue pillow. The white throw pillow. In the before section, there's about a dozen bacterial colonies. And in the after section, it's decreased down to one. I also did the other side of the pillow as a double checking uh, for this test and it came up with the same result. About a dozen colonies on the before section and one on the after. So the Tide antibacterial fabric spray does a good job at removing the bacteria from my white throw pillow. Overall, I'm not super impressed with the Tide antibacterial fabric spray. I feel like it did an, eh, an okay job, but nothing spectacular. I would have loved to have seen the bacteria um, from the couch in particular go from a lot to none or just a few small colonies to really call it a great success. And that just did not happen with this spray. For those wondering how it smells, it is so strong. This scent, it doesn't have a particular like scent on it. It just says it freshens. Um, I really do not like it. It is super strong. It's super heavy. It's super perfumey and it lingers for days. So if you're someone though, that really enjoys the smell of, I guess, Tide, and you really want your couch or your pillows to linger with this scent, then this 100% is a product for you for scent because it will linger. For me, it was way too much. I was really getting annoyed um, when I would sit on the couch where I had sprayed and I was like, oh, I can still smell it. And then when I would get up, I had actually the scent on me. I did not like that. I do not like that. I don't like perfumey, uh, chemically perfumey product scents. So for me, this scent is not it. It's not good for me. But if you're someone who likes scents and particularly likes the Tide scent, then this is a perfect product for you. One other thing I did not like when I used the spray is that it stained my blue microfiber pillows. Um, I'll put a picture, if it, this doesn't come out on the video, I'll put a better picture of it. So you can actually see, I'll try to see the spray line um, from where I sprayed the pillow. And so I have this on that one quadrant where I did the testing, I have a whole outline of where the spray was. I 
don't like that. Now, if this was a pillow that I loved and that I used all the time, I'd be pretty upset. So just a warning, if you're going to be using this on fabrics, you really should test it in an inconspicuous spot before you use it to see if it's going to stain or leave a mark. It might just be the fabric like this. It's a really um, fine microfiber fabric. That might just be something that just doesn't work well with. Now, I don't use these pillows in my home. I have these throw pillows, but I don't use them. And actually, I was just about to bring them to my town swap house. We have this um, like shed at our transfer station where you can bring anything that isn't trash or junk um, but you know so it's not worthy of being thrown away but something that you maybe just don't feel like spending time selling and I bring lots of stuff to my swap house you know toys that the kids are done with you know games sometimes there's some furniture that still has a lot of life in it so I probably will still bring them there but anyway I just wanted to point out though that you really should check it on your furniture or your fabric before spraying it all over the place to make sure that's not going to stain on your particular fabric so not my favorite product, <laughs> not something that I really want to use again. This smell is very, very, very strong. So I'm not certain I'm actually going to be able to get through the full bottle of this. So if any of my friends in real life, if you ever watch this and you really want this, let me know and you can have it. <laughs> this is like the fabuloso for me. Okay. I don't use that. What I try to do since I test so many products is I use them until they're up, right? Because I don't want to waste any, t any product. I just don't want to have a lot of waste, but Fabuloso, I just cannot get myself to use that because I cannot stand the scent and I was not pleased with the results. And I'm feeling like that's going to be the same with this. So I feel like it's just going to sit around my house unless one of my friends wants it. Um, because it is such a strong scent and I'm not really happy with the uh, antibacterial results. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email that's also in the description below so that I know it's from you and so that I know to check my mailbox. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.